I want you to vlog it. Show all of this. Should we show? You guys ready? I mean, we could show it later, possibly, if anybody wants to see it. So this is where... This is where we've been for the last week. Well, not here, but... This is why we have been missing for the last week. Yeah. So he did a thing. I did a thing. <laughs> well, let me fix the lighting real quick. Here. Visual chat. That, that's okay. I'm a bionic man. We're at his parents' house, which is, as you guys know, right next door. It's funny how that works out, huh? Yeah, I mean, this all worked out, I guess, in the sense that yeah, we're, we're saving money right now. We're also not tied down to any kind of large payments, and so, and we're also in a good position to be near her family. So, mm -hmm. it's, it is funny how it works out. So we definitely won't be traveling for a hot minute, but this did make me think of Whenever people said, Blair needs to learn how to drive the trailer because what if something happened to Matt? Yeah. I was like, I'll just make him drive. If he's sick, he can drive. I would not have thought of this. Well, and this is my left leg, so I could have driven if nope. I really needed to. No. <laughs> they told me I couldn't operate any heavy machinery for 31 days. It was At really least. 31 days. 31 days. He has to have his legs straight. So, yeah, any type of driving would just be... We're gonna sit down um, a little bit later today and tell you guys the whole story and how this week has been. Just wanted to let you guys know that we're we're okay. Uh, we're alive. I'm doing a little better than he is. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Mentally, I'm not okay. <laughs> I just I just laughed. <laughs> You've been laughing at me this whole time. <laughs> no. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll, I'll probably clean up a bit. Uh, and I won't. I, I, it, it takes too much. <laughs> this is what you get. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, you guys, I want you all to like grab some snacks. This is going to be a long video. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of editing with it because we don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of time to do that right now. Um, but grab a snack. Get a drink. Get comfortable. It's going to mm -hmm. be a long video. It's going to be an interesting story time. So get your snack, and we will see you guys in just a second. <sighs> <laughs> Harry, so you ready to tell them what happened? Yeah, so you want me to tell the story from the beginning, or what? <laughs> um, I guess. Where to begin? So, it all started on Friday. Yeah, so we got back, you know, dropped the RV off, um, which wasn't very long ago. And so, yeah, we, we got everything parked, set up, and then uh, talked to my parents for a while. And then we told them we were going to go to the rock gym. So uh, we met some friends at the rock gym and uh, started climbing, did a few things. Um, then, you know, Blair's, or, you know, our, our sister in law showed up. And so everyone was there. Uh, we started uh, climbing. Having, fun, having a good time, having a good you time. know, climbing and stuff. Yeah, and I was, uh, I was doing this new climb. So I did a whole new, like, they rebuilt the wall and they put all new holds up and everything, some new sets. Um, so a lot of fun for us. But uh, so I finished the climb. Um, but I ended up not coming down the way I wanted to. So um, I was basically completely laid out um, on that climb to finish it. I was just holding the holds um, and had my foot kind of out against the wall. And then so I came and grabbed the like the handle basically to start down climbing. There's like these handles that you can just like they're like ladders almost. Um, well, I grabbed one, grabbed the next one, and then dropped my feet down to get get a brace on something. But the wall is angled like this, and so the holds were under here, um, and so I couldn't see them. So basically what happened is I, I missed that. One hand slipped, the next one slipped. I came down at a weird angle to where my left was faced downwards. Uh, my left leg. Well, the leg hit. Um, the knee did not spin the right way. His upper body went like this. Yeah, my upper body went forward. Um, and the knee went backwards. Yeah, the knee went backwards, <clears throat> and uh, I didn't get up. After so, that. I saw the bottom of the fall. Um, he, I was looking around, well, I first seen him climbing that climb, and I was like, dang, that's a tough looking climb. That's awesome. He was almost towards the top and looked like he had it pretty well. And then I looked away, and then I looked back, and as he was falling, and I saw the bot, pretty much like the bottom half of the fall, and I saw him go forward, and I thought he had hit his head, so I started running over to him. He's on the ground, grabs his leg right about here, and said, I broke my leg. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Um, I immediately took off running to the front desk to let them know uh, because they always have to fill out paperwork and then they call the EMS and um, I let them know, hey, we had a really bad fall. So ran back over, he's on the ground. I go over to him and somebody asked, should I call 911? And I said, yes, call 911. Um, and so he's, he's laying there holding his leg, not screaming, not crying, like nothing, just chilling. And uh, my sister-in-law works in the healthcare industry. She's an ultrasound technician. Um, and so she's like really calm. She knows all the questions to ask him. So she's running through questions, like seeing how he feels, making sure he's breathing. And within, a, I want to say it was like five minutes, the EMS showed up. So they showed up really quickly. And the, the I guess the climbing center, they, we didn't know what was wrong with his leg. So they, they always give you ice packs because the swelling initially, it, it swells fast. And so the EMS guy took a couple of the ice packs off and looked at his leg and he was like, oh. <laughs> so you, you did a good job. Yeah, yeah, he was like, oh, like that's when we knew it was something pretty serious. And of course he's laying there in pain, but it's it's kind of hard to tell because you weren't really acting like you were in much pain. Yeah, I was just trying to stay as focused as possible, so. Um, yeah. And then so EMS started asking him questions and then uh, let us know that they were going to the hospital close by and said, you guys can meet us there. So Jen drove me there. And we beat the ambulance there um, by about 25 minutes. And then, so finally we go and we meet him in the ER and he's laying on the table and his knee is, like his leg, it's just like where the knee is here, I'm not gonna touch your bad leg, where the knee is here, it's indented in. Um, so it looked pretty nasty. <laughs> you should insert some of the pictures Stop. in here. Okay. Stop. I'm gonna put in some pictures for you guys of, of us at the hospital. Um, so beware if, if you guys are, I mean, it's not like, there's no bone sticking out, so that's a plus. Yeah. There was no bone the sticking bones. out. Um, so we got to the ER and what else? Well, then they wouldn't tell us exactly what's going on either. So we thought it was just dislocated for a long period of time. The EMS said, oh, it's dislocated. Uh, the nurse, they're like, oh, the dislocation came in. It's like, oh, that's a really bad dislocation. Mm -hmm. So it's kept hearing it. And so. And it looked like it, I guess. Yeah, we looked at pictures and it looked the same, but. Um, so I was pretty optimistic about it, you know, four to six weeks out, it's not so bad, start climbing again. Um, and then the doctor came in and he <clears throat> said, oh, we got the results of your test back, you know, the, what was it, the x-ray. And uh, then he got a phone call and so he didn't tell us the results. Timing right was, away. yeah, the timing was really time. crappy on that. And of course, we, we'd been there for a few hours and so, yeah, the doctor came in and said, we need to straighten out your leg because at this point it was turned sideways and bent so they needed to straighten it up um i guess so they could figure out what to do from there uh so i stepped out for that part because i didn't know if it was going to be like straightening at this location um and they said it could be kind of kind of bad to watch so we we stepped out and it didn't take long no, um it didn't hurt that bad and then from there um we were still kind of ex I don't know, we, we didn't really know what to expect at this point, but then they said, you are gonna have to stay tonight and you're gonna have to have surgery in the morning. So that was a, that was a really big shock to us. Um, Never had surgery before. Yeah, uh, surgery or broken bone. Yeah. And so they took us up to an actual hospital room. Of course, we didn't sleep at all. They had to come in and get him for a CT scan at 3 a.m. Um, so they took him in then. Of course, in the hospital room, they have the bed, and then they had like a slightly reclining chair, and that's where I spent the next three, four, four days? Mm -hmm. Four mm -hmm. days? Yeah. Um, Just about. And then Saturday morning at 9.30, he had surgery, and that's where they put the pin in his leg to keep it straight. Um, so basically, what they need to do with that is keep the pins in until the swelling goes down, and then they're going to have to operate again. One more time. So we're... Going back to the doctor tomorrow to have him reassess. take a look. Yeah, reassess. Have him take a look at the swelling and see when we can schedule the surgery for. Um, but we spent yeah Saturday, Sunday, well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in the hospital. And we have to go back. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and so as of right now, what can you do? <laughs> what can I do? Mm -hmm. I I can shower. <laughs> It takes a lot out of me. It's, 
So yeah. it's uh, it's pretty rough. I, I haven't even gone to our RV, our home, in a while. Um, I'm actually nearby, but um, which is nice. We can just go get our things whenever you know. We can just take all our stuff with us. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so right now I can pretty much shower. I can get up. I can go to the bathroom. I can walk outside, but only about five feet or so. Oh, well, he's on <laughs> so crutches. I'm on crutches. It's, so it's not weight bearing. He can't put any weight yeah. on it, and it's. Painful. It's painful, so I can't go that far either. I have to be able to sit flat it's somewhere. Tiring. And if I sit flat on the ground, there's no getting back up. I guess my, the big shock for me was like how quickly things can change. You know, what was a normal climbing night for us, um, just within a, then just a routine fall. You know, it's not like we have never had falls before. <laughs> I finished um, the climb, it's not like I fell on accident really. I mean, it was, it was an accident, but like, it was off of the, you were down the handles. Yeah. yeah, so just like a normal routine thing, and then he slipped half a second, and then everything changes. So it, it's really sobering, I guess, and if my little C2 fracture wasn't enough, I think this is even further a reminder that in an instant things can change um, in, in either direction. You just never know. Like, you never know. I just assumed that things would be normal that day, but... Things are never guaranteed, so uh, I'm I'm thankful that things aren't worse. Yeah. You know, as far as we know, the leg is is repairable. Um, it's just going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of effort. Uh, yeah. Long long stint in rehab for you. Give me a month and I'll be back on my feet at least with something like crutches and moving around pretty well, driving again, um, and then from there it's just going to be just a, a lame mat. <laughs> it's a lame mat. No painkillers though. Yeah, no painkillers. Well, except for the the one the that one. they made you take for swelling, swelling. Um, but other than that, he refused any other painkillers, and I'm just like, I don't understand how you're okay. <laughs> it hurts. Not too bad. Apparently not. His pain. Yeah. He said he was at like a five. Like a three or four, like a five at the worst. After the the bone was broken, yeah. like out of ten, he's like, yeah, it's probably about a five. And it didn't go past like what? a two or three now. What is your ten? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like cutting your hand off or something? It's, it's probably like about a ten. <laughs> the day after Taco Bell. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just wanted to update you guys on, on what we've been doing. Um, basically, my time has been spent taking care of this guy. Uh, you know, it's not like... Yeah. It's my priority right now. As long as we are here, um, we should be able to film and upload some videos like RV Q and A would be probably our next one, mm -hmm. um, but when we go back to the doctor tomorrow, I don't we don't know when he's going to be admitted back into the hospital for his surgery. So it could be Friday. We could spend the next several days in the hospital. So um, just you know, of course, be patient with us. We ask that you guys are patient with us uh, with uploads as of right now. Of course, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled RV antics um, Soon. when he can get back in the yeah. RV. Well, we can even talk about some of it now. I mean, <laughs> even with this, like we, like she had a big realization. It's like, what if this did happen while we're out on a long road trip? Um, you know, she needs to be able to drive it. You so. guys have been telling me I need to learn how to drive the trailer. And case in point, yeah. this is why. Uh, thankfully, we were home, so you know we didn't get into any sticky sort situations of. with with the trailer, um, or we weren't out hiking and climbing on the green belt or somewhere that we would have to carry you back. Yeah. Because that could have been real bad too. That would have um, been painful. So it's, it's just all been kind of, I'd say surreal is a good word to say. Like It still is. Just can't believe it happened, but hey, it, it happened. And I mean, all we can do is just focus on how to move forward from here. Mm -hmm. Just keep smiling, stay confident. I'm glad it wasn't both legs. Yeah. <laughs> it's both legs up in the air. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. It's good to see you guys. We would uh we would just ask for you guys like positive vibes, prayers or whatever for quick recovery for him because anything you know, I can get. Yeah. We appreciate it all. We're hoping that we can keep the fixture and frame it and frame put it, it in the trailer. Or use it for climbing <laughs> gear of some kind. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, I hope we can keep it. Alright guys, well, we will see you guys soon. Yeah. Have fun out there. Bye!